All right, October 22, a lot is happening today, a lot is happening. Let me just turn the camera around and show it to you. So I took a trade, this is my personal account. Remember we were at uh, 50,000 something. Uh, things didn't look so good. Um, I went in to buy here at, uh, where is it? 63, 83, right here. Market tanked all the way down. I ended up losing seven thousand, uh, seven hundred dollars. Sorry. Then I recovered most of it back in this candle, and then I'm out of the trade. So I'm currently sitting at a loss of uh, four hundred dollars twenty-eight. I could go in, but I'm not gonna take a risk now. I won around thirteen hundred yesterday. I made thirteen hundred yesterday, and. Um, I ended up losing a lot and I gained some back and I'm still sitting at $1,000 profit on this account. I'm not going to take a risk right now the way market is. It's not worth it in my opinion to even go in right now. Um, just stay out. And this is one of my friend's account. Shit. This account, I don't even know how to start on this one. Uh, same account. Um, same strategy, ended up losing $700 here. Uh, today was overall a bad, bad day for trading. So this is my friend's account sitting out for today now. We lost $1,700. We are done, basically. We don't got that much threshold left. And uh, we don't want to risk it. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like, why did I end up taking some bad trades? I need some gasoline in my hands. Um, I don't know. Um, one, you could say I'm a rookie. Um, I just started trading two months back and I'm still learning. But also I feel like, um, since I'm doing Uber, Lyft, right? And I feel like I still got bills to pay. I need to focus on that. That I end up missing trades here. And because of that fear, I end up going in trades that I feel are kind of rushed. I don't really sit through the trades and analyze it, and then I go in. I just have like a time, like I have to get back on lift or something at 7.30 or 8.30 in the morning. Let's just put in a trade and go. So I think I might start taking one day or two days out of the week where I just focus on the trades. Nothing else. I'll take lift, you know, uh, I'll take off from my ride share, you know, job that I do currently. Maybe one day or two day I'll do just uh, trading. Hopefully that improves my um, profit. But I did notice on the accounts that I did have, you know, stop losses set. Those accounts held the profit. This account, we made 1300 yesterday. We lost 400 and you know we're still good we're still green this account didn't have any stop loss set ended up losing a lot this account definitely didn't have shits you know saved up for the day daily loss limit we ended up losing look at that it's right in front of you um if i'll be trading my friends accounts from future i'll be um setting a stop limit for the, these guys um because i don't think it's beneficial just to go in and um you know with no stop limit even though i wasn't watching it um i was assuming that you know after a certain threshold it would just call it a day like minus it at one thousand dollars if i lose one thousand a day it just takes me out doesn't let me go in but these guys don't have that sudden. That's not uh, a very good risk management. Even though I have it at set at 1000 I try to only lose uh, uh, close to 500 to $400 a day. I don't want to lose more. My daily takeaway a day is 1500 to to $1,000. Um, but today, the market is so... Um, it has a mind of its own right now. I don't think it's worth it to go in, so I'm not going to go in, uh, in my opinion. Maybe experienced traders might say this was a perfect market for them. 
But for me, um, I'm not going in. I'm out. Uh, I lost some. I recovered it. I'm out. Thank you for watching. October 22. Trading vlog. Adios. Bye-bye.